What is up you guys, this is Space Crypt the Knight, here to bring you a theory like no other. This theory is about our best neighbor, Kray. You may not know him, but Kray is Robocraft's main character that you, the player, play as, and it's in our best interest to assume that he is good. Just stop and think, how did Kray come into Robocraft, and what is Kray's motive to building, driving, and fighting? Let's start off with his origin. Cray was first introduced to Robocraft as a concept in preparation for a project known as the Future of Robocraft, which was publicly documented on March 18, 2015. This project was to lead the introduction of Battle Arena, along with overclocking and new features that were planned to be added, along with Cray being one of the supercomputers. Supercomputers had special abilities that would uh, be activated by the player. Cray's ability was Nano Deny, which allowed the mothership to shoot down a shield on the battlefield, and any enemy in that shield would be denied of nano healing. Unfortunately, the idea of supercomputers were later scrapped and essentially became modules, but Cray was still going to be used in some way, shape, or form. His first appearance in the game was an instant. Previously in Robocraft, bots were made with pilot seats, but unknowingly, the pilot seat was replaced with a hologram of Cray. It's cool to see Cray, a character that is preparing Robocraft for what is to come. The problem was that Robo News, which publishes upcoming features and events from the E14's perspective, aka the good guys, documented supercomputers in a weird way. Robo News issue number 10 states that E14 is pouring its research on advanced intelligent system control units. The goal of this research is to reduce the amount of human casualties for the E14. But Simmons clarifies that it is just a theory on paper, but strongly believe it to hold the key to the E14's power. This was the idea of supercomputers being added in the future, but was never completed. This still leaves Cray in the dark as to how he came into Robocraft and as to who invented him. The CF Alliance, aka the bad guys, have their own newsletter but did not publish any documents during this time frame. Throughout patches, Cray became more lifelike. He went from being a robot managing the pilot seat into becoming the player. It was the full spectrum combat update where we would see Cray at his prime, building, fighting, and driving without the need of ever leaving his mothership. The Robo News issue 12 introduces the invention of the Gamma Remote Control System. This device allows crafters to control their robots on the battlefield without leaving the mothership. The key here is that it is controlled by crafters and not supercomputers. Let's bounce back to the idea of whether human pilots are still being used for the E-14. This brings us to our last evidence, which is Robo News 23. This newsletter was an announcement to a system of allowing soldiers to easily form parties and not advanced AIs or supercomputers. Is it possible that we are dealing with a parallel universe where gameplay and lore are separated, or is Kray part of an unknown faction? Is it possible that Kray is a villain? There are many questions that can only be assumed as this is just a theory, that Cray is not part of the E-14 or the CF Alliance, but has his own intentions. So that pretty much wraps it up for this theory, let me know in the comment section down below if you believe Cray is good or bad. I want to thank you guys for watching. don't forget to like and subscribe for all your robo needs, and until next time. This is Space Script and that logging out. I will catch you guys later.